it's already late at night and I don't want to set up my camera and all that stuff. But I said that I was going to release this tomorrow, well, today when you're seeing this video. So here it is, the auto blur tool for DaVinci Resolve, my latest free tool. How does it work? Well, first of all, to add the effect, all you have to do is go to effects. Now effects, and if you already have something from me or Suave, you'll have the Suave folder. And then there's the auto blur right here. There's two formats, the normal and the planner tracker version. Now, some people like to use the normal tracker. Some people want to use the planner tracker. So that's why I added those. Now, the good thing here is that it doesn't matter which one you use. They're both set up as groups. So if you want to go into something and then modify something, you can do that as well. Like this, especially in the case of the planner tracker version, probably because there's a lot more settings right there. Okay, so how does it work? First of all, in the edit page, when you add these to your element or to your clip, nothing's gonna happen because you're not seeing the controls yet. So go right here and make sure to turn on or select the fusion overlay view. And now you can see these. Now on the normal tracker, this is how it looks. And on the planar tracker, this is how it looks. What's the difference? Well, the tracker itself. Here we have this tracker is the normal tracker. And if you choose to track these, for example, right here, then you can go to tracker details and here you can see where your tracker is set up. Now if I, if I track forward, let's go a little bit backwards actually, right here from the beginning of the clip. Now you can see where it is. Now you click start and you can see the tracking thing happening right here. Obviously it takes a little bit, but after that, then we have the, the, the actual blur part tracked. Now these other shape that we see here is the polygon itself that we can modify right here or you can actually just do whoop, or you can actually just delete the actual not let me delete them. all right i'm not sure what's why i can't delete the actual points right here there it goes so the, i don't know what what the issue was if your polygon right here is green and you select that then you're not going to be able to delete the point it just deletes the clip now if you actually click or double click the actual polygon then you can delete the individual points and if you leave one last one or just press Ctrl Shift C actually, then you can start drawing a new one. Then you can have a new polygon that you can draw from scratch. So that's how you have to do it. Make sure to click on the actual polygon so that you can actually modify these. You can modify the shape of this polygon to fit whatever you need it be. And sometimes it's not perfect for some reason. Then you can just retract these or just adjust the mass itself with the shape uh, controls right here because sometimes it wants to go crazy a little bit okay now the planner tracker works in a similar way i have here this is a tracker info let me get rid of these let me move this polygon right here if you want to see what you're selecting if you right click you can see these um this is shape animation and then pattern polyline the pattern polyline right here is a tracker so if you click on these um you should be able to like adjust any other things like here there's a way to the draw style here if you change this to dash then you can see that now that one looks like a dash but it's a little bit harder to see, to see in this case right okay now in the case of the planner tracker what you want to do is select your shape and now you click track forward this will turn red until the tracking is done and now you have a working tracker on your element or your object. Now, similarly to the other one, what you have to do is go and just adjust the mask so that it covers the object that you want. Here you have different mask controls. In this case, the shape controls, basically. Uh, you can adjust the blurriness of like, not the blurriness, but the border width. And here you have the blur controls. I added these so that you can also modify the different types of blur if you want something different. Okay, now that is the tracking or the blurriness is working. Now, how does it work on an element that's actually a new clip? So I added this cat right here. So let's, let me show you with that one. Okay, we're going to add the normal tracker here. And first of all, I'm going to track the cat right here on the nose. Let's see the tracker details. Once you press track forward, you will see the tracking is doing its job and following the nose. After that's done, we can see that this one stops and this turns green. Now we can actually move around our polygon right here. And let's see if we want to track the eyes, for example. 
that. If I press play, then we have this tracking or the, the mask following the eyes. But in this case, this head moved a little bit too much. So what can we do about that? That's the cool thing of using a polygon is that you can now click these. We're going to go at first at this uh, at the beginning. And let's see right here. We want to make the mask a little bit bigger. We can actually do that. Then the mask is going to animate until it gets to that point. Same thing happens right here. We can actually just make this a little bit bigger. And if you want, you can actually adjust the curve of it. Press shift S and then you will have like a shape or like a curve shape that you can adjust if you want to do that in that way. So now we have our cat with the complete eyes blurred. So yeah, that is basically it. As I mentioned in both of them, if you go into fusion by going up here, you can just open these as a group and then see if there's anything else that you want to modify or adjust. Unfortunately, I, I was not able to figure out which show these tracking points data in the edit page yet. If one of you knows, let me know and I'll do that and update these tools so that you can see that those tracking points right in the edit page. Okay, so that is how the auto blur works and you can find these on this Swalvi website. Now here you just have to go to the freebies section and then there's the auto blur right there and you can just download these for free. Now, since we're right here, let me just tell you that there is a Black Friday. Well, actually, this is the wrong page. Let me go to the store again. Since we're right here, let me just mention that there's a Black Friday month bundle special in which you can get actually all the tools that I've made, all the paid tools that I made for only 25 bucks. So if this is something that will help you out, make sure to check that out as well here on the Swabi store. And that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one here in Swabi. Bye.